Meanwhile, today, Boeing officials holding a safety update meetings as investigators reveal new details after a plane flew, uh, door flew off midair on an Alaska Airlines flight on Friday. We've been telling you this. United and Alaska Airlines both revealing they found loose parts on some of their Boeing 737 MAX 9 jets, which are now grounded. Former NTSB investigator Charlie Pereira joins us now. Charlie, they found some loose parts, and I understand it that they flew anyway in other situations. Does that surprise you? Doesn't surprise me because it's commercial operations and they're doing what they feel they have to do to conduct their operations. But from a safety standpoint, it's uh, it's pretty sad to see and just uh, another one of those. Uh, uh, slices of cheese and uh, Dr. Reason's model of accident causation. You know, it's uh, one, of the, one of the factors that has to be present for the accident to occur. And uh, in this case, it looks like there might be uh, a number of uh, factors. I mean, if you're doing maintenance on a plane uh, and the bolt's loose, you should tighten it, I imagine. They also talk about these issues of door plugs. What are door plugs? Well, in this case, this airplane on, on certain operators, uh, such as Ryanair, uh, they wanted more seats. And so to get the evacuation requirements met, they had to have an additional evacuation door. And other operators like Alaska Air and all those in the United States did not require that extra door. So uh, they put a plug in place. And uh, uh, it appears to me that, that both the design and the uh, uh, manufacturing implementation of that plug as well as perhaps the maintenance with regards to tightening of fasteners uh, were right. deficient. Charlie, what is, in layman's terms, the type of situation where maintenance comes up to an airline and says, I don't think it's safe. The boat's loose, but I don't have a good feeling about it. What is the protocol to ground a plane? Well, the FAA, an airline can ground its own planes, but the FAA can also. And in this case, both both happen uh, in the airline first and then the FAA. Um, but more than anything, the fact that they had uh, several uh, pressurization problems with this airplane and they decided to take it out of uh, over water operations and just keep it on above ground operations, uh, in my opinion, uh, is the most damning thing for uh, Alaska because at that point they could have conducted on ground tests to determine uh, if there were in fact pressurization problems, observe the gauge pressure. Uh, uh, use various techniques to determine where the leak was, just like you do on a, uh, a propane gas system on a house, for an example. They have a bunch of leak detection fluids and other methods of, uh, of finding the leak fairly quickly, and, and they could have done so on this airplane, but they, they chose not to do so. Would you fly on this plane today if someone said, you know, the flight that you're on is this, is this version, this jet? Would you fly on it? Well, obviously, they couldn't do so in the United States right now because of the grounding. Um, but no, the answer for me until they completed the full study. Uh, now, I would not recommend mm -hmm. I would not fly myself on it. And for my my friends and my family, I would not recommend they fly on it until this is fully investigated, fully resolved all the way to the design standpoint. Alaska Airlines says all aircraft will be thoroughly inspected in accordance with detailed instructions provided by the FAA in consultation with Boeing. That in light of those loose bolts. Uh, Charlie, thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.